What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am going to be taking a break from working on the Focus today and I am going to be doing some regular maintenance on my truck out there. I need to get the oil changed. I need to get the tires rotated. I know there's a ton of videos on this on YouTube, but I'm doing it so I figured I would film it anyway. So stay tuned. I'm gonna be changing the oil first. This is one of the most simple and easy things to do yourself and it'll save you a lot of money. So that's why I decided to go ahead and do this video. But I've got my jack oil, jack stands. I've got my drain pan, new oil filter, oil filter wrench, funnel, and some hand tools. Before I jack it up all the way, I am gonna go ahead and break all of the lug nuts loose on the front so that I can get my jack stands underneath and I don't have to jack it up again when I'm ready to rotate these tires. I've got the old oil drained out. I've got the drain plug back in. I've got the old oil filter off. So I'm gonna get ready to put the new oil filter on. Then I'll refill it from the top and the oil change will be done and we can rotate these tires. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on the outside of this ring to help it seal a little bit better. One other thing I'm gonna do is actually put just a little bit of oil inside of the filter so that it already has some in there when this motor starts running again. Oil change is done, but I did want to share this with you. If you are doing an oil change on a 2014 through 2018, it may go through 2019, I'm not sure. But this is the oil that you'll use, 0W20. I do use this Mobile One full synthetic. I've used it on every vehicle I've ever had. My dad used it on every vehicle he ever had, my mom's cars, um, everything, and never had an issue. So that is what I use. I also got the Mobile One filter. So if you are going to use a Mobile One filter, this is the model that you'll need for it. Obviously, you can go to Walmart or AutoZone and they can tell you 
which one you need if you wanna get a different brand. But that's it. One last thing that I wanted to share with you is if you look at your owner's manual in a 2014, and they may have changed it in the newer ones, but mine is a 2014, but originally they said it requires eight and a half quarts. And that is incorrect. Chevrolet came back or GM came back later on and said that that was a mistake and it actually is only supposed to hold eight, not eight and a half. So just an FYI for you guys, it's out there um, and I'm done. So I'm gonna go ahead and start rotating these tires. We have the front lugs broken loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and break the back ones loose and then I will slide the jack underneath the rear end and get all of these wheels off. When I rotate my tires, and I'm not sure if every dealership does this or not, but it was the way that my dad taught me. What I do is I take both back wheels and I go straight forward with them. So this one right here will go to there. The other side will go to the other side in the front. And then the front two, I will crisscross. So that one, the driver side front will go to the passenger side rear and the passenger side front will come to the driver side rear. All right, guys, I got all the wheels off. It's time to put them back on. All right, guys, I got all the wheels and tires rotated. I did use my little stubby impact to get all of the lugs on there while the truck is still up in the air. And then when I drop it down, I will use my ratchet and cheater bar to actually fully tighten them all back up. All right, guys, that's it. Regular maintenance, oil change, tire rotation. 
I knocked it out in an afternoon. I will catch you guys next time.